and they have fought to emerge as achievers in their own uh, right i thought it was very important for their stories to be heard across not only in the country and the world but also in kashmir for people to be inspired that while there is on one side a narrative a uh, incorrect narrative is being run but yet these uh, young men and women have broken the shackles to achieve what they have achieved for themselves for society and the country and therefore we reached out to the team of uh, josh talks and requested them to come across and uh, record their stories and i am indeed very grateful to josh talks especially mr ritesh malik who was the one who actually connected us to uh, josh talks and now darpan shah ji who's here to record these uh, stories nine have been already recorded and as has been already told they have it uh, more than a million uh, hits and i am very sure the story you are not going to be recorded will inspire many more generations and many more youth of kashmir sir during your tenure we have been seeing lot of anti terror operations where pakistani terrorists were neutralizing huge number despite the army and the police claiming that the anti infiltration grid is there how come that we are neutralizing more uh, foreign terrorists in particularly in shrinagar and other banks now zinat uh, firstly these uh, terrorist majority of them are who were here they were on the quiet So what had happened is that initially they were putting the local youth as a local local terrorist as the face of terrorist activities and terrorism as these numbers of local terrorists started drying down and coming down they are not getting slowly exposed and they are compelled to come out of their respective hiding places and anonymity to carry out strikes and conduct uh, terror operations against the kashmiri people or locals non locals uh, and uh, other people and therefore when they have started coming out and emerging they are now getting into getting exposed and the contacts are happening i can assure you that this year uh, established by the entire intelligence uh, people there was only one attempt which was uh, made by the from the cross to infiltrate that was destroyed and since then there has been not a major attempt there are a uh, reconnaissance and some degree of attempt just thought of but because the uh, the grit they have not made a very credible attempt to come us out uh, come now yeah, of course these are uh, these are challenges because once they are carrying a dhar card and checking and all is being done to validate the truth behind this person or his real identity is a is a difficult uh, proposition also when there is an encounter which is on and a person comes out with a valid dhar card and he moves out is a is a difficult uh, challenge but yes i think uh, slowly uh, we will overcome this uh, this problem sir well. my question has two parts one is that before super engineering general nara may made an important comment in delhi he said that uh, there are certain night vision devices which have been found on the loc which us forces have also used and second part is that there were reports that satellite phones are again being used by the militants and night device uh, you know to escape from cordons how true is that and how do you see it yeah there are uh, uh, equipment or uh, weapon systems which have uh, been used by in uh, other parts of the world which have found their way inside it's a pretty challenge but we have also changed our rules of engagement and procedures to contest that point they have been found and uh, they are not in those large numbers but definitely there are so uh, signatures and uh, we have recovered in half of the encounters and some on the sea have been recovered in uh, in uh, 16 core in the pieces uh, so it's not a big challenge we have been able to work around that uh, system yeah thanks thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you a lot about yeah